Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Luca and today I want to go over framer pricing structure because I see a lot of confusion online about uh, uh, all the various plans, uh, how much you pay for each feature and so on and so forth. So today I want to try and do some clarity. Uh, this video is being recorded as of February 2025. So this is post uh, November 2024 because in November 2024 there was a massive update in framework pricing. So uh, before this, there were there was no such thing as personal and business plans, and there was something called uh, site plans and workspace plans. Now uh, workspace plans uh, have been uh, removed, and we have personal plans and business plans. So uh, this is this video is updated all as of twenty twenty five. And also I have written an article on the pricing structure that will always be updated. So if you see something changing here that uh, is not reflected in the video, you can check out the link in the description and I will always make sure to update that. So let's start with the personal uh, pricing. Uh, the first thing you need to know is that even if it's not mentioned here, there is a free plan included. So actually, before we go do that. Uh, one thing that you need to know is that basically uh, framer plans work on a per site basis. So I can develop uh, um, how many sites I want and I only pay when I want to upgrade one of them to a, a pro plan basically. So uh, there are six plans, actually seven, a free plan, then three uh, personal plans and three business plans. Here it isn't mentioned the free plan, it is mentioned at the end, which basically includes uh, 10 CMS collections, a thousand pages, five, year, five megabyte of file uploads, and a free local to try. Uh, the free local only has a limit of 5,000 words, so it is just to try it. Uh, if you want unlimited words, you will have to uh, upgrade to any of the plans and then purchase the, uh, the local. So this is perfect, for example, if you are a freelancer, you can develop your client website for free, then you can hand it over and when the client receives it, he can upgrade and have access to all the features that uh, come with the paid plans, but on the free plan, you can already do basically most of everything. The main uh, free limitations that there are with the free plan is that one, you cannot connect a custom domain. So if you have your domain at uh, domain.com, you cannot connect it to your framework website on a free plan. You uh, have a big limit on the number of visitors. You have like a thousand visitors included per month. And then the third one is that uh, you will have the framer, uh, made in framer watermark at the uh, bo bottom right of the page. For example, if I visit, um, let's say, Cloudcraft, okay, this is a template. And as you can see here, we have a made in framer uh, watermark that you cannot remove on a free plan. So uh, this is basically it for the free plan. Then we have our mini plan. The mini plan in terms of features offers actually less than the, fr than the free plan because on a mini plan you can only have one page and the 404 page, so technically two pages. Uh, as you can see here, you have a home and a 404 page. This is perfect, for example, if you have a landing page or if you, for example, have a one page portfolio. Uh, some features that uh, it is also pretty cheap. You have uh, $5 per month if you go with yearly plan, uh, with a yearly billing, otherwise 10, uh, dollars per month on a monthly plan. For collaboration, uh, the collaboration actually will be identical for all the uh, personal plans. You have a max of three editors, but the editors, editors are not uh, uh, included in the plan, so you will have to pay for them. So for example, if I have my mini plan and I pay five dollars per month, if I want to invite an editor, I will have to pay twenty dollars per month per editor. So um, it can become pretty expensive, but um, we can't do much about it. 
then we have a three day version history so um, basically you can go back three days in your version history to take pieces of what was done and bring it back to the uh, to the current version you can go back uh, the version history works that you can only take stuff from what you have deleted and you basically cannot uh, revert to an old version uh, so that's something to keep in mind then we have hosting limit you have 500 megabytes of storage so uh, the amount of storage storage like when you upload videos images and stuff the bandwidth so um, basically how much bandwidth how much stuff your visitors uh, basically download when they visit your page and this is obviously a cumulative limit uh, a limit for the five uplo file uploads uh, form entries so how many form uh, form entries so you can have per month so uh, it's not like a hard limit almost none of these uh, on the hosting actually on the hosting plan none of these are uh, hard limits so even if you go above uh, it will not stop working for example if you have uh, 20 form entries per month and you uh, have 60 uh, it won't stop working you will still receive them but if you constantly go over then the team will get in touch with you and ask you to upgrade then we have the uh, you don't have the staging environment we'll see what that is when we go to the pro uh, for features you have custom code okay fine set analytics uh, the cookie banner you can't pass you don't have password protection and a caveat with password protection is that it only works on a domain level level you can't have um, password protection for individual pages you don't have redirects you have a maximum of one locale the locale is as as with editors it is not included in the plan so you if you want to localize your page you will have to pay $15 per locale per month since on uh, you are on a personal plan all personal pa plans only include one locale so uh, at max you can have one locale at $15 per month uh, and the locale offers unlimited words in this case even you will have a landing page so you will not uh, you don't have many words anyway and then for support you have community support so there is an official uh, community at um, community uh, what is it actually framer.community and here you can post your questions the support space is actually uh, moderated by the framer team so for example uh, you can write your post and somebody from the framer team will reply to you as soon as possible so even if it's called the community actually receive a support from the framer team okay that was basically it for the mini plan then we have the basic plan the basic plan introduces quite a few things uh, mainly you can make your site much bigger with up to uh, a thousand pages and also and also you can start using cms collections uh, up to to two cms collections so uh, these are the two main drivers usually for the basic plan you have many more pages and you have two cms collections uh, for example for blog and categories or for products or for whatever you want to use uh, the editors is the same you pay uh, on a per editor basis and it's not included in the plan version history is a bit longer up to seven days we have a bit uh, higher hosting limits so uh, one gigabyte of storage 50 gigabyte of bandwidth uh, file uploads uh, 500 for entries um, uh, you can password protect your domain as mentioned you can't password protect individual pages uh, same with localization and same with support then we have the pro uh, which is 30 dollars per month and this basically uh, again uh, introduces more pages more cms collections so for example here uh, we had a thousand pages for the basic here on the pro we have 10,000 pages and we have up to 10 cms collections so a pretty complex website for example uh, my website at clicks.supply uses a pro plan because i have uh, for CMS collections and uh, yeah 
you have page and CMS drafts, that's fine. Uh, collaboration again, same as before, free editors, you pay on a per editor basis, uh, it's not included in your plan. 30 day version history, so much longer than mini and basic. Then you have uh, again uplifted hosting limits, uh, 10 gigabyte of storage, uh, more bandwidth, more file uploads. Here you also have the staging environment, uh, so the staging environment works that you can publish your website on a staging domain that is provided by Framer and basically from there you can see how your website will look even before you publish it to the actual domain and one another thing that you can also do with staging is revert back to an old version so for example if I, if you publish an update and you later discover that it breaks something while you fix that thing you can go back to an older version and show that to your visitors while you on the background work on fixing the issue. And for features, uh, we also have redirects, uh, 100 redirects. Here we are talking about uh, rules and not routes. So for example, uh, uh, you can use uh, like one redirect will count the same as one wildcard redirect. So you could th theoretically redirect a ton of pages with, uh, with 100 redirects because uh, you can use a wildcard redirect on a collection that has, I don't know, 200 pages and with one redirect you are redirecting 200 pages thanks to a uh, wildcard. So keep in mind that redirects are, are we talking, we are talking about uh, rules and not routes. Uh, localization is the same and then uh, community like support is the same. Switching to business plans. The first thing I want to mention is that as you can see here we have the option to go from uh, monthly billing to yearly billing whereas on business we can't do that so if you want to go with a business plan you have to commit a whole year to Framer uh, because you cannot you cannot also not have a uh, refund as stated here. Uh, you are only eligible if you live in the US or uh, Turkey and if it's been less than 14 days since you are upgraded. So keep in mind that this can be a, a quite important uh, commitment. So um, basically we have two plans and then we have the enterprise. The enterprise obviously doesn't have a fixed pricing because it will depend on uh, how many features you request. So basically uh, it's, it's a normal enterprise plan where you can choose how many features you want, what features you want and you will have a, a tailored solution for you. So we will just look at the startup plan and the scale up plan. The startup plan is $70 $75 per month and basically it is the same as the Pro but with more features so in this case you have more pages so up to 15,000 uh, 15, pages sorry 20 CMS collections uh, same the same for uh, page and CMS drafts collaboration on business plans you have up to six editors and the editors also become more expensive if on the personal plan you will pay uh, $25 uh, or $20 if you were on a year planning per editor per month. On the business plan you will pay $40 per editor per month but you have up to six editors. So that's something to keep in mind. Then we have version history, again a bit longer version history, 90 days, project permissions. So. Um, when you are using a editor on a free plan, you either give them full access or uh, only view access. On business plans, however, you have three levels of uh, permissions. You can give them access only to your uh, to the canvas, or only to the CMS, or only to the localization, or also a combination of these. So this becomes really useful. Uh, for bigger teams because uh, for example you can invite your uh, translator like a copywriter to write the translation of your website and you give 
can give them access only to the localization part uh, of the project so that they don't mess up with anything else. Uh, then again, we have more hosting limits, like higher hosting limits, um, more storage, more bandwidth. Uh, here we also have a global CDN. Actually, on free plans, you also have a CDN for your assets. Uh, it just has less uh, like hosts in the uh, the network. So uh, the global CDN basically means that you will have more uh, more servers that will serve your content, and so it can result in uh, faster loading times because obviously. You basically have a lower uh, time to first byte. Then we have localization, uh, similar to um, editors. It costs more, but you also have more locales available. So if you went from uh, one, if I remember correctly, yes, one local max per uh, per project. Whereas on the business, you can have uh, up to five locales per project. Uh, unlimited words, uh, uh, community again support only for the community, and uh, um, yeah, that's just for building. That's that's fine. And finally, we have this scale up plan. This scale up plan is two hundred dollars per month, so uh, pretty expensive. But you also have access to a ton of features. For example, up to forty thousand pages, which is a very big website. Uh, thirty CMS collections again, page and drafts. Editors is the same. Um, the version history is a bit longer, 120 days. Again, project permissions are uh, the same as I mentioned. Uh, hosting again, you have you have more uh, like uplifted limits, and also you have access to a custom proxy. Um, the, the custom proxy doesn't come with the plan, but you have to pay an, addi an additional uh, 330 dollars per month if you need a custom proxy. That doesn't mean you can't proxy your website on a free, on a free tier. Uh, you, you can put something uh, in front of your website. This is only used if you have, if you need a more complex setup where the site needs to be aware of the custom proxy. So for example, if you have, mm, I don't know, if you want to have two websites uh, under the same domain, uh, one part, for example, hosted on Framer and one hosted on uh, whatever, uh, let's say WordPress, then you need the custom proxy add-on. Uh, localization limits are the same, support is the same. And finally, as I mentioned, you have Enterprise, which has uh, all the personalized features that you can ask for uh, when you're talking with the uh, sales team. Um, you have a bunch of new features, more support, you have Slack support, a product specialist in training, and so on and so forth. Uh, so this is only used if you have very specific needs and you can get in touch with the um, sales team and they will come back to you with a personalized, personalized plan. So that was basically it for the video. I hope you find it helpful. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next one.